spotting learning issues early on. Educators say that that can make a huge difference in your child's life. And with a new school year underway, educators are sharing some advice. Fox Carolina's Myra Weeds is live in Lawrence County. Myra. Well, good morning. We're at the administrative building for Lawrence County School District 56. The school year has been underway now for a week, and this is a time for both students and educators to learn a few things. And joining us live to tell us a little bit more about what they're doing is Carol Ann Barnes. She is the director of special programs for the district. Thanks for being here. You know, uh, this is a time when you kind of uh, assess children once they get back to school. It's an adjustment for them and you can kind of pick up on things, right? That's correct. We have, um, we're very fortunate to have an early learning center here in our school district. And so um, we are fortunate that we can pull students in early and really get to know them and know their needs so that we can track them throughout their school experience here. So this is when you can find out if they have any special needs or other issues that could impede their learning, right? Yes, and we are um, centered, our, our focus in the early learning is on meeting the needs of children individually, so we do screen for speech and other issues that might um, be present, and that way we get an early start on providing services and getting them where they need to be. How much of a difference does that make by being able to de detect these things earlier? Well, the hope is, is that as we do that early in their educational career, that they go to kindergarten, first grade, more prepared, and they're ready to, to move forward. So if we can target their needs early, they have a better chance of progressing at grade level. You know, we did also speak to a pediatric specialist at Parkside Pediatrics uh, who talked about other things that can play a part, like ADHD and anxiety. Here's what Nathan Heffington had to say. There's a lot of roads that lead to anxiety, and one of those can be inattention or inability to focus. And there's a lot of roads that lead to inability to focus, and some of that is anxiety. So it's really important to get multiple opinions. And Carol Ann, when it comes to um, finding issues like anxiety or ADHD, is four years old, for example, is that too early? It's early and it is their first experience in school, so we do take that into consideration, but it just gives us a better idea of how to provide supports. And while we don't diagnose, certainly, we can give them the added support within the classroom to help them manage those, those their behaviors and their anxiety and all of that, give them space to operate and, and deal with that. And one thing medical professionals say that they really need rely on is um, are the opinions of people in multiple settings for right. these children, right? Yes, and the most important thing for parents to remember is that we're all a team working together. So um, parents can come to us, we talk with parents and really l seek to, to meet the needs of the kids um, as a group. Yes. Thank you so much, Carol Ann Barnes, Lawrence County School District 56, uh, making it a team effort to make sure your child is off to a good start. Reporting live in Lawrence County, Maya Ruiz, Fox Carolina News.